Okay, uh, just to let you guys know, uh, the audio is kind of a little bit messed up because apparently for some reason the movie was just loud while I was uh, recording the commentary. So I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna go f through another 40 minutes of commentary to say what I said again, because that's just exhausting. So I'm sorry guys that the audio sounds terrible, but uh, hope you guys can still somehow hear and enjoy the commentary. So yeah, sorry guys. Okay, let's do this. Hey everybody, it's the founder, and I think it's about time I do this. So, as a way to uh, get get everybody else ready for um, the third TMB movie, we are going to do a comment. I'm going to do a commentary by myself. Sadly, Nathan and Bella here for this one, but we I'm going to do a commentary on the second TMB e movie. I think it's better than the first one, but Nathan and Bella think the first one is is better. But nevertheless, I digress. I think this one's just better, just because I think we did we did the story a lot more better in the, in the fight sequence. But anyways, let's just dive right in. There's a there's a original logo right there. Right, let me just check if the bottom is good. Good point, just because I want to be sure you guys can actually hear the commentary, since you know that's why you guys are here in the first place, anyways. And yeah, this came out during the 10th anniversary of the YouTube channel. And we were, uh, I think, yeah, we were getting new to Yuka, but for some reason, Yuka did something, for some reason, did a glitch during this shot. Like, uh, which hey, is usually only happened in video shot, which was, which kind of made, delay the audio a little bit. Which was absolutely frustrating, mostly because, uh... Uh, we filmed this inside of, uh, a park, and, uh, we had about as much help as we can with, from, uh, some of our, uh, from, uh, uh, from some friends to help us, uh, with, uh, with the prison sequence, and, uh, there was actually no way that we could have done that again. Not to mention that, uh, the editing happened, like, at the very end, so, like, there was no way to go back from that, so, uh, yeah, the audio will start like that, but you know what, honestly, I don't think it really comes to that much of attention until, like, the end of the escape sequence. What's up with me? And, and What's up with me? it's mostly, like, I fine just the way it is, like, right now. I mean, like, the audio is pretty much nice and synced right here already, anyways. Because of high plasma. And then you can see, uh, yes. the bears from the first movie exactly. come back, since, you know, I taken down uh, they didn't die in the first movie, three or, times because, uh, only Shrek died in the first movie. stuck here forever, for life in prison. Which is eternal, cause I'm a ghost, and I lost my crown because of it too. The reason why we said that was because uh, I got that boo from yeah. Toys R Us oh, from Master. before Toys R Us went bankrupt for the first time, and uh, he he uh, he didn't come with a crown, and uh, I did not have any money to buy a King so Duke plush for it, so I had to just settle with uh, with this boo plush while we still well, can. How about we make a D? Now, we'll help each other escape prison, and we'll work together to defeat the Mario Brothers. Music from, uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day. Uh, it's not the most appropriate game you'd want to play, right, but, uh, so when, you're about old, when you're you about old enough, uh, like, come in, uh, come in, come in. and if you ask your parents if they allow you to, oh, oh, just be sure to not do so at a young age, like, when you're older, hey, you okay? like, yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna uh, talk about it. Oh yeah, for punching sound effects, I in the gun yeah, sound effects, I use the drum. No. It's working. They're out. Come pretty on, much whenever we do punch punch sound effects, we I pretty much just slam on a hard or soft object. That makes noise. That's like, not the point. We need to like leave before they wake up. So uh, because it makes on, it sound like go. punching anyways. Because usually punching just sounds like you're hitting something anyways. So come on, let's go this way. Yeah. Come on, come on. Oh yeah, you can see a little bit about like inside of inside the camera. Yeah, that's absolutely hell. Oh, oh crap! Dig harder! I didn't intend to do that, but her face was just way too close to the camera. Oh no, they escaped. We're sounding lockdown. Make sure they don't get fuzz. Send in the other troops. All right, all units, come in immediately. We filmed this movie. All units. Um, throughout in three months. I'm the only guy here. Everybody else took the day off for St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. What? Patrick. And it's two months longer Celia. than how long it took to film the uh anyway, come on, we gotta get him! Alright, at the least first send movie in the traps. We month. gotta do this. Honestly, Don't stop. It Make sure to the stop them. Best. They could have been filming just one day. Okay, I got the shows ready. Aim, aim, fire! 
Another thing I would have done definitely was probably to give him like some oh, sort of they like got a shit. They got cop like shells. design. Let's go. Oh, there you go. You can see one of the friends then the camera. Oh man. Yeah. That uh that went and didn't really go about his house house holding flip to go, but you know what? One of them still after us. Hey you got a banana? Yeah. Throw it. Oh my god, that was like the Let's worst go. shot in the entire movie. Let's go. If there's any Open shot the I door. hated, that was definitely that one. Because like it didn't look like it's that not was even trying for that Open one. Open the door. Let's go. We just filmed that triangle park and it's go, inside go, go. of Florida, so if you find Close it, you can be all like, oh, oh, that's why you filmed the movie. Oh, yeah, and the lab sound the gate for it. Now, this is where the audio right, was really there. delayed, and it was, like, really out. bad. All right, see you guys there. So, that's, so, uh, that sucked. <laughs> because this was an important exposition scene, and yet, uh, it was we ruined it. by the delayed Let's audio, so that was terrible. Now, it's time like, to get absolutely back. terrible. But listen, I don't care what it takes. I want you two to grab... One of them. And, and another thing was that we had to wait for nobody to be inside of the area that we filmed the prison scene in. Even it was inside of like a closed off tennis of court, rooms. but it didn't have air conditioning or light. It just had like walls and no ceiling and a door, as you, as, as you saw. This music's from uh, the first Sonic Adventure, because uh. The only like rock like instrument we have is like drums and like a keyboard. But besides that there's no other rock like uh musical instruments that we have though. So yeah. Not to mention it's not easy to come up with music, you guys. Honestly, does that look like a better thumbnail to you guys than, uh, than what the actual thumbnail is? I don't know. Oh yeah, this part. I think this was, uh, one of my favorite shots in the movie. It had this bird flying to the music of, uh, Mario, the opening of Mario 64. Oh yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was, you can tell that, uh, it was January when we filmed this, cause, like, you can see the Queen's decorations right there. But yeah, this opening was, of course, inspired by Mario 64. And then the bird being included, I think that was inspired not just by lack of food, but it was also by uh by the butterfly from the VeggieTales episode of Madame Blueberry. This was when Mario and Luigi's bedroom was inside of my sister's bedroom, but now it's inside of our bedroom. Which is about time it was. And Nathan was doing this whole scene while eating Pringles, so that's why the Pringles were were right there. We did that to hey to uh, make a better version of that of the shot from uh from the first movie because inside the first movie when uh, Sonic came in to wake the boys up, you could tell that you could see my sister, um, who voices Sonic, uh, that uh, you saw her face during that shot. So we made a better version of that basically in there. Luigi, remember, remember, Mario says that's not plagiarism. It. <laughs> It's not plagiarism Luigi. if you steal from yourself, kids. Wahoo! Wahoo! There you go. Pretty much Mario and Luigi starting off with a better morning than I did in the first movie. Relax, guys. Today's a... Hey, my... I got the feeling that, you know, they might be an amazing thing. That bed, um, it's not there anymore. We, uh, got rid of it. Because, uh, it was too big. And, uh, our sister wasn't really using that bed as much anymore. So, we decided to switch it out with the bunk beds that, uh, me and Nathan were sleeping in for a while. And then, now we have a bed that's kind of like Bella's, except smaller. Because our room is pretty much smaller than Bella's. Or at least it feels... Yeah, no, it definitely works. Oh, yeah. And in this, in this music, uh, we had a little, um, slightly broken, but not too broken ukulele. It was like a Hello Kitty ukulele. And I did it to the tune of, uh, uh, yeah, the song on Crazy Little Thing Talk, uh, which, uh, yeah, for copyright. 
as per usual. But I just had to. I mean, I, 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 most of everybody uses Mr. Beast guy for like the opening. Or like some generic like, happy music during the beginning of the movie. And I just wanted to, and I just wanted to play this song in because it's a good song. Not to mention I was starting to get, not to mention I was really busy with that song while we were filming the movie. Look, you can see Razor's cage inside of the... That's uh, Nathan's cut lizard, if anybody's wondering. He's a bearded dragon. He's now much more bigger. And in that two defense, we definitely don't have that anymore. And that, no, that, neither is that poster of him. And we had uh, Mario do that little dance thing because we wanted to recreate that shot for like a trailer, which uh, I don't know why I did that, but you know, it's whatever. Oh yeah, and then we had an, and then uh, one of our cousins was watching us film this scene, and this scene was pretty funny. Of everybody playing a game of Uno together. Oh, oh what? you got me ah, okay. That's just great. How? What? Dad, how are you always Baloney. so good at Uno? This is trash. You're trash. No, you're trash. Okay, boys, boys, stop, stop fighting. Stop. You're trash. Ah. Ding. Ah. And the winner is because he's good. What are you trying to say? Nothing. I think this is also one of the first times when uh, that uh, we had lighting okay, inside okay, of okay. a video. Dad, I think so I can't I remember. Uh, well, All right, this is the best joke. It didn't exist in, in that time. We called it the game. It Wait. was you know the game. This is the Spanish edition of the game. Oh, you don't mention that again. It's called... One. One. Nathan, we laughed so hard at that. <laughs> you can even help tell by Nathan's little hey, giggle right was, there. And that was uh, before we had a peak an plush for I the movie. Everybody. We were lucky to get that plush from Mommy. Oh, we were originally going okay. to use that little plushie that you see no, during the climax no, of the sweetie, movie we from, we that we got from Fire Below before uh, I, well, my, I knew that my mom bought... Uh, I mean, right, a couch. peach plush, which was uh, unexpected, but uh, I'm super thankful for that, so thanks, Mom, for that. Uno! <laughs> Uno. So, Peach, what's all this about? Well, Mario, it's, I have a special announcement to make to all of you. Everybody's all perfectly gentlemen. lined up like that. Happy oh, to and there's Cuphead, you know, Mario, before you die, and stuff like that. What? I'm pregnant. That <laughs> peach vehicle we had... So, for like about uh, Merry Christmas. For, for a very long time <laughs> now, we had that when uh, the Mario Kart 8 McDonald's <laughs> Happy Meal set came out <laughs> back in 2014. So that's now nine years ago, but when this movie came out, it was eight years ago when this movie came out. Disgusting! Oh yes. And if anybody wonders why Kirby is not inside these videos anymore, because since puberty has ruined my high pitched voice. It's not as easy, it's not, I can't do his voice okay, anymore. So, uh, and with Yoshi, I just had to go from like, you know, Hello, I'm Yoshi! To going like, Oh, hello, I'm Yoshi. I'm basically on like, you know, I sound like this. I sound like, uh, I can't remember the name, but I sound like, I sound, I sound like that, like, one guy from like that one game or something. I, I can't remember. Maybe Toad? If like, he had a nasal or something? I don't know. Oh yeah, this is where we get like some backstory of like some lore. Oh. <laughs> Basically having like a huge fallout no, and no, stuff like that's, that. No, no, that's 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 not why I'm, I'm like this. <laughs> this is the only time I now. tried to. It, it was hard to do with the audio because I <laughs> yeah because while doing it I knew that was loud, but I didn't know I, yeah, how to know, make it like, sound it's, right it's not because. Like that. I tried the best I can, you know, but it's not, uh, it's not like that. I'm I couldn't really do, do anything well about becoming that. dad because so, I might end up being terrible. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, well, because oh, considering about what happened to my previous fans, might happen with my with myself because of of how I'm related to you. Those and mom, candles are uh, only died, one of them works now. And, and I have there's only two candles now. I don't know where the third one went. You didn't give me a single damn card, and I was just stuck up with Uncle Gervais. Oh, it, and another little uh, little Christmas tree thing right there, and which you can t which which shows that uh, this was and clearly mom, filmed in January. I couldn't find nothing because her body was in ashes because she was dead. Mario just decides to bring up his dead mom like it's out of complete nowhere. 
Uh, of course not, because you were in space. When I have a child, I'm just worried that I won't be able to teach him to drive, to eat, or to do well, you anything don't know right. Where probably because I got and, like he went to the far off uh, destiny island of like somebody Neverland and me by accident or something. Or even telling me a single thing. You know, it's crazy to think that's already been a year since uh since this movie came out. That that's like that's honestly kinda crazy and also was insane. Just 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 over a year ago we, we filmed this. It's crazy. Oh yeah, and you can see the plush characters in the back. The problem with Nathan is that uh he uh, is hot. Uh, he when he films the videos, he usually has a, he usually speaks very low. So I have to tell him, Nathan, you gotta like speak a little higher. So then then I do that so that he you can hear him more and understand his characters more. Because then you can tell why by just from when you hear the clip on your own when you're not watching the commentary and watch the actual movie. Another weird thing that I don't understand was that uh people less people saw this movie than the first one, which uh. I don't understand, but you know what? It's whatever, man. It's just whatever. Also, can everybody please stop asking, like, where Mario's hat is? Is, is, to basically sum it up, I lost his hat, like, in 2017, when TMB shorts began, and, uh... Yeah, I don't know where that hat is at all. It's pretty much gone forever. And we used to have Marco's hat around, but I don't know where that is now. So, yeah, there's that. You can see our cute little pictures in the back. Because no, way, there's absolutely no way that we could have taken them off and took even put them back on. If there's one thing that's not easy to that we can't hide, it's like photos of us that because we we have photos of us around like like areas that we just can't get rid of. This was filmed inside of uh, our park, not the triangle park, but our park, and it was very windy, so that's why you can hear the wind blowing hard at the camera. What? Where am I? And I filmed this by myself. Look at that. That looks like a beautiful shot. Looks like something that you see inside one of those, uh, nice. low, low five, ten hour ASMR videos or something like that. I got that Mario from Five and Below as well. To pretty much represent Mario's mother. Mom? So I could show this nightmare sequence. I meant that red car. I still think that's a pretty powerful scene. I think I think it works really well. A weird thing happens where sometimes uh, the dashback ratio squidges and then it stretches. And it's weird. I don't know why that happened. I'm sorry for everybody that had to deal with that. Hello? Oh yeah, in this scene, Hello? this is probably one of the only times where my mother Helped with the with a oh. helped with a scene inside the movie because usually she would help with getting the plushies oh. and getting the props. But this was like uh, she helped drive the car for the getaway scene. Like we had to actually do that. <laughs> now there was a little something hidden there that uh, if you pause it you'll see it. But uh, I'm not gonna say it right here. Mario. But Mario. yeah, that was like one of the only times oh where uh, our oh our mom oh helped gosh. for a scene. For a video, and it was like pretty awesome and so cool. And maybe someday we'll be able to do something like that again in the future. The problem with Luigi is that his hat keeps keeps trying to come off. Like it, it always makes us. It, it his hat's supposed to be like this, but it's always like this for some reason. I have, I got no idea why. I just don't get it. So you're telling me that King Boo who 
we should at least get. What about the junior come from? I can't. I, I I don't. I hole. can't. I didn't exactly yeah, see him inside the last happened. shot. No. Say, who's King Boo? Yeah, King Boo. Okay, and this Captain Underpants. Who's King Boo? Don't have him in about as many videos as we can. Mostly because of. Can we think of any way to use some of these characters at the moment, which is why you don't see some of these characters as much inside the more recent episodes. Exposition yeah, scenes going on right now. Oh yeah, if if there's any voice that I hated doing, it was Princess Peach's voice. Mostly because I sound like a naggy woman. Where's my children? I want child support and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh my goodness. I wanted Bella to voice Peach. But for some reason, she did not want to voice her. I just, and I just don't get it, honestly. Oh, you can see the extension code where we, uh, we had the little light thing that we showed. We also just use that big vacuum to our advantage since, you know, vacuum. Oh yeah, the, uh, we filmed, uh, the head, King Boo's headquarters was filmed inside of the garage before I, before, uh, but now it's now there's no way to uh do anything inside the garage anymore for reasons, and uh yeah that's pretty much why uh the Junior's Pokey Quest series stopped in, in the first place. It's a little hard to see mostly because it's supposed to be dark. It's supposed to be like that sort of grimy like look, kind of like so, like from the opening of uh Tim Burton's Batman, you know, kind of like that. But uh yeah, and also uh. Too. Yeah, we also got the flying Koopa. I can't remember where we got the flying Koopa from, but uh, yeah, we got him. So we decided to use him inside the, inside of the video as well to get a little bunch of as many uh ba Bowser minions that we can to use them as a uh, minions for King Boo's um yeah King Boo's like evil plan or, or something like that. Now you might wonder how they did how they did it and why they did it and how uh, they didn't get in trouble Bowser and how about but you know what? Who cares? That, that, that honestly is not really that big of a deal. It's not that important. It's not that important, guys. You will not get away with this. Uh, and then that inflatable sofa you see in the back, we definitely don't have that anymore. It was, uh, it was so, it was so uh, easy, easy. It's it easily deflated just from uh, some s <laughs> soccer sneakers that one of my cousins oh. kept putting on that inflatable couch. So. Yeah, it's not there anymore. It's not replaced with a futon. Got all those shells because uh, we didn't have that many Bowser minions, as you could clear as you clearly saw. And then we went back to the park again to film in the land of Hyrule. But it was hard to get good shots to not show the houses. But I decided to go with it anyway, since you know this there technically is, is houses inside of uh, the Legend of Zelda. They just don't really look like the ones that are you see nowadays. But you know what? You, you just gotta work with what you got, you know, with such a, with such a low budget. That is any budget at all. For some reason, this part of the music was copyrighted, and I don't understand why. Yeah, this is Link's first appearance. 
despite the fact that we didn't really use him as much inside the series anyways. But I'm like, come on, it's all about like Mario, Luigi, their family, and Mr. Potato Head, and Yoshi, like, that's all you need, like, that's, that's, it's perfect right there. And Garfield, especially Garfield. And Ernie. And Bert. Oh yeah, and Patrick Star. You know, we probably should have put Patrick in this movie. But luckily, he will be in the third movie. It's not really much of a spoiler, it's just an indication that yes, he will be in the third movie. So if anybody makes a Wikipedia page or the YouTube channel, you can add that. If, some, if somebody makes a Wikipedia page of our channel anyways. But put, I'm surprised that, that there isn't one yet, because there's pretty much a Wikipedia page on practically almost everything anyways. Getting ready to uh, for for a battle. Kind of like the exercising from the first movie. I gotta say, that moment peach was the best day of my entire life. Oh yeah, one of my little uh, little jokes I put in there. Maybe you should laugh so hard when it came to playing Mr. Potato. He had a really fun time playing her. Also, we couldn't oh, yeah. find Papa Luigi's paper, so we had, we, uh, well, we, we couldn't use it. So, yeah. We couldn't find the original paper, which sucks. So, we gave him a new one. And then they come back with Link, and then they're like, Ooh, uh, much when you when you come up with the latest trends, that's pretty much how they how they react anyways. Oh yeah, the suit up sequence. Because I always wanted to do one of those. <laughs> Potato Head putting on his nose and his mustache. He's all like, all right, time to put on my mustache. Oh! I, d I don't know what that was about, but okay. His link was a little sword, and then Yoshi going super thing, going like super dinosaur, like, ugh, ugh, and, and trying, trying to be all like mean and scary and stuff like that, despite the fact that you know he's Yoshi. And then there's Swiper from that TMB short where uh, he was robbing him to be inside of the movie, since you know he probably too would want revenge as well. So he probably joined them inside of their mission to uh, destroy the Mario Brothers and the gang and stuff like that. He's gonna lose, and we're gonna win. Cause him and what on? He don't got no one. My vicious army to defeat Luigi is complete. Luigi will be defenseless against my army. Oh yeah, I think I might have accidentally. How can you possibly even stop me? He doesn't even have his own. Use two takes at the eggs inside the same shot, which was definitely. A very bad error, so yeah, that sucked. Yeah, you can see Peach. Uh, we got the Peach yes, plug right before uh, my mom bought my, my mom um, bought uh, the Peach plug, uh, and then and it, before it came over. So yeah, she was pretty much like this throughout this entire battle sequence before we even uh got that Peach. So yeah, that was originally going to be the plug Peach. Even with that army, there's no way you can defeat us now. That is one mighty fight.
my horse. I was clearing my line for a while. Ha! You think that a person from the land of Hyrule will help add your army, despite that I have a pretty decent amount inside my army, and it's not small. Yeah, I was pretty much right. It was only like a specific amount of characters minions. because there weren't that many enemies from inside of this. Side. And it would have been like way too easy to like for like for them to like overpower them anyways. But then again, more, and all the characters that appeared inside the first movie, they would just uh, be brain controlled and they would, would weren't even even friends with the Mario Brothers in the first place. So you know what? It pretty much makes sense here since these are all the friends that are these are all the characters that were friends with Mario that were still with him at the moment. Now. There is something that I probably should have thought about, and that was having Sonic come in to help uh, help Ready. fight him. But you know, he was stuck off of his own adventure, yeah, so you can pretty much get cheated by that, you know. Oh yeah, then there was a YouTube of uh, the Sonic Adventure 2 song, because it was such a really epic song. And I thought, wow, that would sound really good for, for a movie. But they couldn't hear, but my mom and dad couldn't hear what they were saying during the battle. But honestly, there wasn't really that much being said. And honestly, I didn't really mind at all. But one thing that was a problem was that uh, I was also singing inside of, while recording the art, the, the, the music. And, and playing the drums also as well. So, uh, yeah, that, that was kind of, that is kind of, that part is definitely the part that's really guided. Oh yeah, and you can see uh, Nathan Long have this epic sword fight with Swiper and Marco. But yeah, back to music. Uh, for some reason, I was just inside of such a singing movie while filming the movie. So, yeah, it's pretty much why there was like a bunch of different takes of the music. But then again, it probably helped, helped it be a lot less capable of being a signal for copyright. But yeah, it was so signal for copyright anyway, so... Yeah, that sucks. I probably should let the music stay the way it is. And I also didn't even use any sort of sword sound effects for that fight, so that sucks. And there you go, he is bleeding, and then fight the dive. And he never appeared again, except for the 10th anniversary video. Of course, not canon, so it doesn't really matter that much. Also, I love how it's the horse that helps beat Link, and yet Link cowers in the corner, unable to defeat this guy. <laughs> By the fact that he's being off as like a giant, dumb, stupid warthog, so yeah, that's pretty stupid. Alright, and you can't hear what you're saying inside here, so then this is where uh, the dialogue wasn't meant to be heard. So that was kind of cool. Alright, this is where uh, Mr. Potato Egg plays, uh, does his di diversion. I heard this song a lot and then just decided to use it for like a di for the diversion scene. Oh, oh, and you know what? Run. It's honestly fine with that. Run, fellas. Auto or I can save you. Cause I'm like you know. Come on, Blue Ocean. We gotta go. Okay, right, since it took a, a while for everybody to escape and then for them to see the bomb, I had to make it last for a little longer. I right, tried to make the bomb explosion sound about as real as possible. Oh yeah, I think Luigi was like hurt or something. I don't know. I we only added that in because uh, because some cat, some of the ketchup that blood that we use accidentally got on Luigi, so we just decided to just go with it. But luckily, it's it's off of him and you can't see it anymore, and the smell went away too, so that's good too. And that's probably Luigi's about to get it. King Boo, he escapes, which leads to what will happen inside the third movie. So get ready for when that comes out, guys. I wanted to do a third movie, so that was why I added this inside the second movie. I pretty much planned out to do a third movie, so about, so yeah, I was pretty much set and prepared to do that. Oh yeah, 
yeah. Mario, where you at? I hear you, but I can't find you. Oh, we'll catch him on the fence. Yep, hiding in the trash can. Because King Boo probably believed that he belonged in the trash. That piece of ball, King Boo. A piece of ball. Mm, look at that kissing action. Oh, what happened? Luigi! So many okay? shots my sister's feet. She pretty much okay, walking in, in, in the areas where the camera can see her feet. Also, it's kind of a little bit of a twist to how usually when the guy is captured, he's hurt really bad. And instead, it's Luigi that's hurt really bad for once. Instead. This scene might have dragged off a little bit too long, but you know. And finally the police come in. You can see a little bit of Nathan's head in the background. Pretty much getting all the bad guys to prison. I love how they took Swipe away, even though he's pretty much already dead. He should have been taken by I, uh, whoever's a doctor inside of the universe. Maybe Shy Guy, maybe Shy Guy's a doctor. I don't know. We haven't really um, had to use doctors yet, so uh, yeah, we are yet to know exactly um, who exactly is the me the medical healthcare inside of uh, the the DMB universe. So yeah. And Yoshi's still inside of his big size instead of running to his normal size once the fight was over. The text the very next day, and, and uh, I forgot to capitalize it. Whoopsie daisies. Whoopsie daisies. And then we filmed this when uh, the Amazon plush came in, and it took me by surprise. So I decided to use it where uh, Peach tried to get plastic surgery again. And the last time. In the previous part, she uh, got plastic surgery, so then she just, and then she decided to get herself some plastic surgery again, probably to uh, be at her size in, in terms of the story. But now you know why from from the behind the scenes. Now that is what you call a kiss scene. Oh yeah, and then the music. Mm, I w I'm so happy I found this music because that that was so such a perfect. That's such the perfect music to end the movie, to end the movie, to end a, a Mario plush movie on. It's just so good about music. There no be no other better Mario ending music than that one. Absolutely no other one at all, not even the Mario Galaxy mu end music, and there's nothing you guys can say that'll make me change my mind. And then this is where... The Daisy character started coming in because I found a Daisy plush and decided to uh, buy her. I think she was from GameStop, I think, or like Walmart. And I found her and decided to use her. And then she became Luigi's adopted daughter. And it turns out she also be the daughter of Daisy. So now they're going to be together and become, uh, you know, the mother and father of Daisy. They're probably gonna have their wedding during February or something. I don't know. It just makes sense to, ha to have weddings during February since, you know, Valentine's Day and all the love and hugs and kisses and makeouts and stuff like that. And you can see Bella's fingernails right there because she was playing Baby Daisy. And also, Bella finally came around to doing the voice of Princess Peach, finally. Took some convincing, but I finally got her to play Princess Peach. I forgot to, forgot to say, I forgot to say that, but yeah. Just gonna let this play out the way it is because it's. So, I'm so proud of this ending shot. I had to edit the music to make it fit throughout the length of the final shot, but you know, it still works. Except for the kazoo, I probably should never use the kazoo.
that was the TMB sequel. I st definitely still think it's better than the first TMB movie. I don't see what the problem that Nate and Bella have with it, honestly. But yeah, this is most definitely a good movie. Yep, the special thanks to my family and also those my mother for helping with this movie. So, we'll see you guys for when the third movie comes in and do a commentary for when that, for after that comes out, probably. And yeah, I just had to say that just because, um, so that nobody would think that that's true, because it's not. But yeah, thanks for watching. Maybe inside of the third TMB movie, um, Papa Luigi can play the game of two or even three, you know? Bye. <laughs>